Hello, it's Andrea, and I want to show you guys how I was able to create this design on my hands without using any fancy tools or going to a salon or anything like that. Um, a lot of you guys requested this tutorial after seeing my hands in my itchy scalp remedy video, and since my soul is yours, I will show you how to do it right now. So easy. Let's go. So you can either go to your beauty supply store and buy some tip guides, or you can order them online. They're really cheap, but I think the easiest way to do it is just go into your cabinet and get your band-aids out. And doing it this way is so popular because it's so easy, you know, like even when you run out, you don't have to order more or go to another beauty supply store. You can just go to your, you know, grocery store or CVS and just get more band-aids. Band-aids are two bucks a box. Okay. And then some colors. Use some colors that you like. Okay. So the first thing I want to share with you guys is this product right here. Without this product, I would not be able to grow my nails out. Uh, my nails are really brittle, so I always have to paint this on my fingernails first. Afterwards, I'm going to just take some white nail polish. And I like Insta-Dry because it just makes life go by quicker. But I wish they had more colors. Anyways, afterwards, you want to let it dry 100%. And I mean that. So what I do with the band-aids is I just take, I like to use the circle ones, and I go ahead and I place it on my skin first, and I remove it from my skin. And the reason why I'm doing this is because I want to take off just a little bit of the adhesive. This way when I go to remove it from my nail polish, it doesn't take the nail polish off with it. So I'm placing it on here like so. And then afterward, just go ahead and take a bright, springy color of your choice. And I'm not painting over the entire band-aid because the band-aid has like little tiny holes in it, and I don't want the polish to seep through. But random, this is my favorite part in Mrs. Doubtfire. I wanted to show you guys. What is your favorite part in Mrs. Doubtfire? Okay, anyways, um, then afterwards, like I said, okay, you don't want to paint all over the entire thing, just the very end of it, and then slowly pull off the band-aids. And you'll have this pretty design that you saw in my other video. And that's all that I did. It took me five seconds. And you don't have to do all the different colors either. You can just do one color like this right here and here's another option or if you don't even like want to use springtime color just because it's springtime does not mean you have to like only do springtime stuff if you want to wear all black during the springtime because that's your style then do it just wear whatever you want you can use this trick for any nail design um, or color and here's another version I didn't put any base color down I just did a tip color and here's my sister's nails she was taking a picture so I told her to film her nails because she used the band-aids as well um, and here is my spring look. Let me know down below in the comments what you think. And if you guys want to post a video response of your nail design using the same trick, then go ahead and do it. And I'll see you guys soon. Okay, bye.